And yeah, and I forgot to mention in the previous video that you are getting $300 uh, for you. So even if you, you, so you have a big margin of error, even if you did something really badly and you developed a bot that was in a book uh, workflow that is in a booklet and making like, I don't know, thousands of requests per minute, you still have margin to, of $300 that, can, that for sure would cover you. Okay, what do we need now? Mm, I'll leave this screen here in another, I have several screens, so I'll leave it in another, in another side. And um, what we need now, I'll come here to the workflow again, and uh, I will click, go to select credential, and I will click here in create new credential. We, we will create a new credential. I can do it through here, or I can do it, credentials, save, add credential. Okay, we go to the same screen. We click here and here I get a menu of all the credentials that I can create. In, my, in our case, we need one for Gmail and another one for Google Drive. So let's find Gmail, Gmail OAuth 2 API. This is the one that we need, okay? Continue and then we will do the same for the, for the Google Drive. And we have this screen and um, fortunately, every section of NADN usually provides us with a link to the, to the um, documentation that will explain us what to do. So what I will do now is follow exactly the docs. So I click on the docs and we are taking to this uh, section of the official docs. Okay, these are the official docs. And um, they say, okay, set up OAuth. You need a Google Cloud Platform project. That's what we did in the two previous videos. So we have done already this. In case we didn't know how to do it, we click here and we set up a, a project. We have the project created. And I'm doubting now if this thing of the organization might cause us problems in the future or not. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Well, we will see. If, if uh, then I'm having problems, I'll try to sort out the organization issue. And let's carry on. And then in Google Cloud, go to Google Cloud Console APIs and Services. If I click here, I'm taking directly, but that's not the account that I want. And I can go by here, clicking in APIs and here. Okay, I go to the APIs and Services menu. Great. Here I am. Yes, here I am. Next step. Uh, view screenshot and we se we must select the project that we are in. Okay. Select the project. Yeah, we are in the right project. In case you're not, select here and change the project. Um, the color, it's different because probably they did the docs when Google Cloud looked differently, the design. That's a problem because sometimes they change they change the the, the um, plat a little bit some of the platform designs and then you might be confused so that's why i'm here to give you confidence in the fact that it's the same okay they just change their color but that's not relevant right next thing uh, we have first step is done great second optional if you haven't used OAuth in your google cloud project before which is our case you need to configure the OAuth consent screen. So we need to go here, right? And uh, if I click right and I open this, these are the steps, okay? Or they, or they are defined also here, this and this is the same. So I'll follow the steps from here. Right, select OAuth consent screen, first step. That's what, we'll do, what we will do now. OAuth consent screen, okay, right. Then, um, for user type, select internal. Internal, and I'm not allowed to select internal because you're not a Google Workspace user. You can only make use, make your app available to external general audience users. And this is where I'm not sure if this might cause us a problem. So, 
So, so let me check one moment because in the other plat in the other account I have an organization created already, so I don't have these problems. And since I'm doing this from ground zero, I have some small doubts. So let me check this one moment. And it looks like they only want to identify your company or who you are. So yeah, we will do it. We will start it at least. So we were here, learn more about user type. No, here, organization, and here we will click on cloud identity, okay, and here we will select this link, okay, sign up page, yeah, and now they're asking me what's the name of the company, to cloud, how many, co how many workers, two between nine, Spain, next, name, Pedro, my current gmail account yeah this one next your domain this is my company domain no I'll provide another one yeah this one yeah or to cloud.com yes accept accept how many users well, I'm not a robot bicycles bicycle 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 verify yeah I'm not a robot and uh, mm -hmm. they're creating a well, I'll continue. I'm not sure if I really need this, but if it looks not very complicated, so we'll do it. Okay, accept and continue. I need to do the robot again. Accept, understood. Next. Admin Google. Uh, let's configure Google Cloud Identity. I think perhaps with... Mm, well, I don't want to do this job now, Jesus Christ. No, I don't want to do this. Let's see if I can already access to the... Yeah, I think... Let's see if, let, let's see if this is already... If I have an organization already, mm, come here to write down a a i a m and admin. Write down this on top, and go to identity and organization. Set up Google Cloud for your organization. Go to checklist. Begin the setup. Continue. And uh, cont what do I need to review license? Uh, Jesus Christ, this is uh, what a headache. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I'll try to know. I think it's not necessary, so I'll skip it. What a headache. I'll go back to the consent screen, APIs and services, OAuth consent screen, and I'll select external because I think that it's not really, it's not really, it's not really a problem. Okay. So let's click in create, app name will be called uh, whatever name of uh, we want to use to specify Udemy N A N. English tutorial. Okay, I didn't select internal. I selected external. I think that it will not be a problem, and uh, because uh, Google Cloud Platform is something gigantic, as you as you could see, and um, this course is not for that. So you should see if you want to be. And anyways, incredibly complex and incredibly huge. So I'll only stick to the 
minimum necessary so that we can go forward, okay? So create, I app name, user support email and email address. And then, okay, name, user support email, user support email, logo, I will not, whatever is not necessary, I will not provide it. Not necessary, not necessary. Developer contact information. Save and continue. Okay, next screen. Add an authorized domain, add domain, add a domain. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I forgot a step in the pre I'll go back to the previous step. Yeah, I forgot to do this. Authorize domains, add domain, n8n.com. Okay, that's what they're saying me to do here. Add domain, sorry, n8n cloud, n8n.cloud. Okay, and now save and continue. Yes, next step. Go to the scopes page, fine. If you don't have any, you don't need to set any scopes. <laughs> I have no idea what they mean. So save and continue and go to the summary page. Great, so it means it says that nothing to say about. No, save and continue, save and continue and back to dashboard okay we have a constant screen ready yeah external publish app you will be able to the well, i'll not do this for now and um we have a constant screen ready i think we will see if there is an error or not next step create credential or of client or of client id okay Create credential. So we come here, APIs and services. No, credentials, sorry, credentials, create credentials. Great. Which one? Which one of these? I'm in the third step. OAuth client ID. Great. OAuth client ID. Nice. Great. Application type. Okay, third step. Application type, web application, web application, nice, web application. I'll give it a name, uh, Udemy N8N tutorial. You can give it whichever name because this name will be used for you to identify it in the table. Well, you will see now, you will see. Just put it a name, it doesn't matter, you don't need to put my name, you can put your own name. And now, the fifth step, authorize redirect URI, select add URI and paste the auth redirect from any 10. Okay, auth redirects, add URI. Here, authorize redirect, not the first one, eh? the second one, add URIs and here, go back to the local host, go back to the, to the NA10 and click this URL. Okay, select it, copy, and we paste it here. Paste it, and we create. It might take five minutes. Fine, okay. I think that was the last step. No, it's not the last, but at least. Yeah, we added this and select create. We are in the sixth, st sixth step, and uh, enable each Google service API that you want to use. Okay. Ah, they put a video here. Fantastic. But Google has a revamp. Google Cloud becoming unauthorized. And uh, create. And now, I don't know why it's not appearing. Yeah, client ID in any 10. Yeah, client ID and client secret from Google in the credentials model. Yes. So I go back to here, client ID, I copy this and I put it in local, 
in the NA10 client ID. Okay, I go back to Google, client secret, copy the client secret, and I paste it in client secret, and I click in save. Great. Now, um, I will be asked to sign in with Google. That's what, that's what the, the docs are telling me. The docs here, yeah, put the client ID, we just did it, and client secret, and then sign in with Google to complete your Google authentication. This step, the, se the seventh, mm, says in Google, pers Google each, uh, what should, request API access for perspective, access your Google Cloud Console library, make sure you're in the project, search for the APIs you want to enable, for example, for the Gmail. Okay, we need to tell Google Cloud which APIs, APIs are the services that I want to um, allow this token to connect with. I'm not sure if this, it should be done now or later. Mm, I'll try to do it now. Now and we need to come to enable APIs and services. Enable API, click here, okay. And I will enable uh, Gmail. Gmail API, I select it, enable. That means that this token can communicate with the, the, this with this uh, API. So we enable it for this project. Enabled, great. And here we will see the chart, is what I was telling you, of how many times this is requested, used, and then we could make, um, eventually calculate how much would be, we would be built in the case that we were over, we were passing the minimum, the free, the free tiers. Next one, we need the, okay, I come back here and I will enable another one, another API, uh, Google Drive. Google Drive, API, activity, drive labels, which one it is, I'm not sure. Well, I'll tr start with this one, and I've, if I have any problem, I'll enable them all, because I think this is the, I think it's this one. I'm not sure now, but if I have any problem, I will enable them as well. So APIs and services. Here we have a list of the of the APIs that we have enabled: G Gmail uh, and uh, Google Drive. You see, Google Drive and Gmail. The other ones are enabled by default. Okay, the other ones are enabled by default. If I wanted to disable one API. I click here and I disable, okay? And it's, but it's not the case. Great, great. Next step, uh, it was telling us, so I, now I was doing this, seventh step. Docs, sheets, slides. Well, I don't need now the sheets and the slides, so no, I'm, not, I'm not, I was doing that the same for Gmail and Google Drive. At some point, we will enable all the, all the Google services just to leave them enabled because uh, but now for the the we will focus only on what we need, and uh, finally finally here sign in with Google. So we go back to the uh, NA10 sign in with Google. I'll select the Gmail account that it's in charge of this um, of my um, of this Google Cloud platform. Okay. Again, I need to verify. One moment. They're asking me if it's me. Yes, it's me. Number 87. And I have the access denied. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Access denied. Right. It hasn't completed, I haven't com finished the, the verification of Google. Okay, let's see what's the problem. This video is getting too long, so um, I'll finish the video here and in the next video we will finish with the process of, uh, because it's becoming too, too, too much. In the next video we'll finish with this.